Hello, my name is Guido Hofer and today I want to show you a feature focus video for Smart Materials Mobile Scan. Let's start with a login. You can use your normal Smart Plant Materials user credentials and log in using the app. Then you select Project, Discipline and Role. This is very much the same as you would work with Smart Plant Materials and the LOVs are fed by the exact same query. Then you come to the main dashboard. From here you select the main functions. We select the receiving, receiving of material and you see the release notes or purchase orders which have been assigned to you. From here you can then select the warehouse and the location into which you want to receive the materials. These Warehouses and locations are fed by exactly the same queries as it would be in Smart Plant Materials. There are different ways to scan. Mobile Scan has different options. The first we want to use here is barcode or QR code. It basically doesn't matter what you use. Mobile Scan supports both of them. Now, this is a sample I was using and in this first example I use the inbuilt camera of the phone and scan the QR code. The QR code has more information than necessary, but Mobile Scan is intelligent enough to just take the first line. As you can see, it scanned the barcode IDG. Now I do a different option by using a trigger. This trigger is connected via Bluetooth with the, with the app or with the phone, and then I can scan the exact same barcode or QR code using the inbuilt laser of that scanner. Looking at the app, the effect you will see here is basically that after the barcode or the QR code has been scanned, it's immediately being filled into the field barcode. It's fundamentally the same process, it's just a little bit more handy. The next option is using the same trigger, in this case with RFIDs. Passive RFIDs in this example. RFIDs have a range of about 15 meters and I can scan them using the same trigger which is connected with Bluetooth with the app. I use this small right button and then I initiate the scan on the trigger. What Mobile Scan will show me then is a list of all the RFIDs which are in range. The system will see if it can identify these RFIDs and then I'm ready to receive them. I can tap on the RFIDs I want to receive and after I've done this I got a tick mark indicating that these RFIDs are ready to be received. Then I push the done button and those RFIDs which I want to receive are showing up here in the app. The next thing we want to see is how this MRR is being created in SBMAT. Mobile Scan syncs automatically with Smartplan materials. It hooks on the database and writes everything into it immediately. So we can see here that two lines have been created these are exactly those two RFIDs which have been received with Mobile Scan. The last thing we want to have a look at today is the barcode manager of Mobile Scan. This helps you to generate the barcodes or QR codes which you have seen in this example. So you query for a specific purchase order or release note and then pin simply push the print button. This will give you a printable report which you can then either send you to your suppliers or you print the barcodes by yourself and attach them to the materials. In this way you have everything in one product, scanning the barcodes, printing the barcodes and a perfect integration with Smartplan materials.